Good day, everyone. For today, we are going to discuss on uh, the, the last two remaining topics or last two examples or types of annuities. And we have here the annuity due and the deferred annuities. Okay. So starting with our discussion on the annuity due. On our screen, you can find there um, an illustration of an annuity due. It is being defined as Actually, the annuity due is an annuity in which the payments are made at the beginning of each payment interval. So as you can see in our number line here, so you can find that the periodic payment denoted by R, okay, and then you have there the term in years, and from zero year to the first year, this is your interval, okay? So meaning that uh, your first payment would begin at the beginning no, of the interval. So from zero year, that will be your first payment. Okay? So you will start paying your juice here. No, but it's red, red lines here. Right? So the sum or accumulated value of the annuity due or amount of annuity due denoted by uh, this symbol. In, on our formula, you can find actually the sum or the accumulated value, no? So this is the accumulated value of the annuity due, or it is the amount of annuity due denoted by this symbol. Okay, so using the derivation of, of the formula that we are uh, that, that we have now last time. So this is equal to R quantity one plus I raised to N plus one minus one over I. Okay, minus one. So in finding no uh do the necessary operations. Then we can have the final formula in finding our accumulated value of the annuity due would be equal to this. So this is the formula that we are going to use later part on our solution or our uh, problem. Okay. So this formula, okay, this formula shows the relationship of the accumulated value of an ordinary annuity S. If you can still recall our discussion previous, uh, previous in our the previous discussion, we have discussed the accumulated value of an ordinary annuity denoted by S, right? And the accumulated value of an annuity due. Okay, so kanimang good siyang formula. If you can still recall, this is the formula in finding the ordinary annuity denoted by S. So kanilang siya. Okay, so this time, ato na siya gihimo ng annuity due. Okay, or the uh, yeah, the annuity due. So, muna natay kanisya nga symbol. Yan ay napuno nga kanisya nga 1 plus i. Okay? So, the present value or uh, if, if you are already given, for example, uh, our problem already give us the value of your s, then simply your annuity due is given by s quantity 1 plus i. So, kan na lang yung gamiton? Kan na kung sa ato problem, uh, given na ni nga value here. Okay, because this formula here, kani siya, the whole term kani is just, if you can say recall now, so at the previous discussion, this is just equivalent to our uh, ordinary annuity denoted by S. Okay, so that's why if ever given na ang value ni S, then you can use this formula, shortcut na lang. Maulang niya ang So the present value of an annuity denoted by A, niya na yung duha ka dots no, sa taas. This is just the sum of the present value of each of the payments and it is illustrated in our uh, formula. No? This is equivalent to A is equal to R quantity to these terms here or to this expression here. And then do the necessary operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Then you can derive that the formula in finding the present value, okay, present value of an annuity due denoted by this one is this okay so maana niya to gamit on later part on the on problem solving okay so example so we have an example here a father wants to set up an educational fund at thrift bank of the philippines for his daughter by making a deposit of ten thousand okay at the beginning of every year so that is your keyword there beginning so since nag start siya og pay at the beginning of the term so this is an example of an annuity due right so at the beginning of every quarter of the year for 10 years 
if money is worth 2.5% in Thrifty Bank of the Philippines, how much money is in the fund at the end of 10 years? So if ever you are going to put yourself on the side of, 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 uh, of the father, no? so you are going to deposit an amount of 10,000 every quarter of the year, beginning of every quarter of the year. So, so for example, first quarter, January to March. So you, so you will be paying 10,000 inika January, okay? beginning month, beginning of every quarter of the year. Okay, so the question there, our task here is to find how much money is in the fund and at the end of 10 years. So 10 years, no? Ang um, ato kuhaon. Okay, so to solve that, so ang ato end year would become uh, 4, okay, quarterly month times your time or in years, this is equal to 40. Alright, so that will be our uh, 40 regular deposits. No? So the annuity formed by the deposits is the annuity due, okay, beginning man daw siya, with the regular payments, ang ato R here, okay, our R with regular payments equal to 10,000 pesos, right? And then our N, ato nag solve ganiha, that is 40 regular payments. And your I, okay, ang ato I is uh, going back to our problem, no, that's, uh, 2.5%, no? The money is worth 2.5%. So you convert that one to decimal, right? So our I here would become 0 0.025 over 4. Okay, so 0 0.025 over 4. Okay, 2.5%, convert that one to decimal. Mano over 4 because we have 4 katoshan quarterly conversion periods, right? So this is approximately equal to 0 0.00625, right? Then we have the annuity due is equal to R quantity um, 1 plus I, no? Recall your formula over N, right? The whole thing would be deducted by 1 over I. Okay. Multiplied nato with 1 plus I. Okay? So, sakto ba to formula? Right, that's it, no? So, next step is to replace all the values since we are already have the given data, R, N, I, and so on. Then we can just have to replace the values here. So, our R, your regular payments, is 10,000 pesos. Multiplied. So, at the quantity here, 1 plus our I is 0 0.0625 or 0 0.00625. Raised to n, our n is 40. The whole thing would be deducted by 1 over our i is 0 0.00625. Multiplied, me 1 plus i, or that is 1.0025. Okay? So, do the necessary operations, use your calculator. So, our calculator here. So, that would be, of course, no, start solving the values inside the parentheses. Okay? So that would be 1.00625 raised to 40 minus 1 divided by 0 0.00625, okay? Then times 10,000 times 1.00625. So that's equal to 4, approximately equal to uh, 455, okay, 455,000. 673.18. So, two decimal places lang ta. Okay? So, that would be the amount or the fund after 10 years, at the end of 10 years. That is equal to 455,673.18. We have to review, ha? So, that's uh, 1.00625 raised to 40. Okay? Minus 1. Then, divide 0.00625 times 1.00625 times 10,000. Yes, that's it. 455.673.18. Okay? So meaning, this is the, if, 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 if you are the father, no? Uh, and then you are going to deposit an amount of 10,000 quarterly for 10 years. After 10 years, your, your money will become 455,673.18. That is, if the money is worth 2.5%. So mangita ka ko, the, the secret there is to find a bank that will offer you higher interest rate 
so that you can also earn higher amount. Right? So almost half million na no, ang IMO fund after 10 years. Okay? So that's it. Another example? Do we have another example here? Let's find out. Yes, we have another example here. Uh, Joshua. Right. Joshua wants to visit uh, Japan three years from now. He will be needing a sum of 100,000 for his trip. How much, how much money must he put aside in his travel funds every year starting now if money is worth 6% compounded annually? So annually. So one na at the conversion period. Anna. So therefore, our N here would be three years times one. So three lang gihapon. All right? So three lang gihapon na siya. Your I here would become 6%. Convert that one to decimal. That's, that would be 0 0.06 over one. So it's still 0 0.06. Okay, that's your I. Your uh, S, natay S, value is 100,000. Mauna ang ato up to noon, 100,000. So the question is, uh, pila man ang iya ibayad or pila man ang iya i-deposit every year? Mag-start na siya karoon. So ato ipangita here is R. Okay, we'll be needing the value of R here. Okay, so we'll be needing a value of R here. So how to do that? Okay, so since we are given the formula, nanatay formula diha, uh, then we can just uh, solve directly, no, the problem. Okay, so uh, using the formula S, I sorry, S is equal to R. Quantity 1 plus i raised to n. Okay. And then uh, minus 1, no? Over i times 1 plus i. So given naman ta ni s, this is 100,000, right? Okay. Mato i-review sa to given. So we are given 100,000. He will be needing sum of 100,000. Okay. So, the i, sorry. So that would be 100,000 R, muna to unknown, okay, 1 plus 0 0.06, 3 minus 1 over 0 0.06, quantity 1 point, uh, zero 0.06. So this is equal to uh, 100,000, uh, there are, so ato ni siya i- so here, so that would be 1.06 raised to 3 minus 1, divide 0 0.06 times 1.06. So that would be 3.374616. So 100,000, you divide that one by 3.374616 is equal to R, okay? So therefore, R here is equal to 29,633. So meaning, si Joshua, kung matu siya o Japan in three years now, then every year, every year dapat na asya'y uh, i-deposit nga 29,633 for three years. If that is uh, if that um, ang amount, no, that amount is worth 6% compounded annually. Okay? So 29,000 ang EI deposits. Right? So that's it. And then you have there a, uh, the summary of your formula. Okay? Right? So thank you. That ends our lesson, the continuation of our uh, lesson.